Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Brenda here. In today's video, I want to quickly cover how to run scripts on Heroku. So if you're familiar with Heroku, which you should be if you're watching this video, then you know that you can write your code locally and then push your code to Heroku and then their server will recognize it and start your app. But from there, it's a little tricky to make any changes to your app while it's running or to do anything extra, like run a script that's included in your project directory. So what you can do is you can actually run scripts on Heroku. And to demonstrate, I have this app that's currently running on Heroku. What it does isn't important. It doesn't really do anything. But it has files in it that allow me to run it. In this case, one particular file, script.py. And what it does this script.py is it just prints testing. So this script can be anything. This is just for demonstration purposes. But if you want to run this script while it's on Heroku, then you would have to use Heroku Run. And before I show you how to do this, just think of some other ways that you could run scripts on Heroku. Maybe you need to pre-populate a database. Maybe you want to trigger some job manually. Uh, there are so many different reasons why you would want to run a script. Basically, if you run a script on your local machine or some other server that you're used to running, you might want to use that script on Heroku if you have it on Heroku. So let me show you how to run this script really quick. First of all, you have to be in your Heroku project directory, otherwise this wouldn't work. And you also need to be logged in. So your Heroku project directory knows that it's a Heroku project. So once you log in with Heroku login and then you run commands in your project directory, you'll be able to do what I'm doing here. So I've logged in already. I'm in my Heroku directory. So what I want to do is I want to use Heroku run. So Heroku run. And then after that, I will type in the script. So for instance, if I wanted to run that script that I have here, I will type Python and then script.py and hit enter and it returns testing. Not very interesting. But if I wanted to do that on, on Heroku, what I would do is Heroku run and then the same thing that I have on my regular bash. So Python script.py. And when I do this, I mistyped pi. So I'm going to have to do this again. But you see there's a lot of things going on there. Um, it has to connect to the server on Heroku and then try to run the script. And as you can see there, it says it can't open the file script.py ppy because there's no such file and of course that's because i messed it up so huoku run python script.py now let's try that again so now it's connecting it's going to run and then if it is successful we'll see testing which just showed up so like i said not a very interesting example but it is a complete example in the sense that that's all you need to do to run a script so here's something else you can do. You could do Heroku run and then bash. So what happens here is you are actually going to run bash on Heroku. So any command that you type here will be for your Heroku deployment. So you see the dollar sign here. If I do LS, I see I have five files. This isn't my local machine. This is Heroku. That runtime.txt is a file that is only on Heroku, and these other four are shared between my machine and Heroku. But that's just something I can do. If I hit exit, then it's going to exit out of Bash, and then it should exit out of Heroku, which it does. I can also do something like Heroku run Python, because I have Python installed on this particular instance. So it's going to run, and it gives me a Python REPL. So I can do anything here that I can do on a typical Python REPL that I have on my machine. So I exit out of that. And that's pretty much it. So that's how you use Heroku Run to run scripts. And like I said, this is really useful for triggering manual jobs, for populating a database with some data, or just migrating a database, whatever you want to do. This is good for it. So that's all I want to cover. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. So thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.